In today's video, you'll learn how to create a pop-up from an anchor link using Otter Pro. So right now we are in the main posts area in WordPress, and I'll just go ahead and select a random post. So now we can go ahead and add a new block. So I'll click on this plus and I'll click on pop-up. Once it's added, I'll click on edit pop-up. And once it opens up on the screen, you can go ahead and add your content. So I'll just speed up the process of adding a heading, a paragraph and a button. In your case, this could be whatever you want. All right, so once you have set up your pop-up, go to block settings on the right hand side and you'll see an open trigger option. So you just wanna use the drop down to select on anchor click. And if you want, you can go ahead and configure the next two options, but they're not necessary for this demonstration. You can also configure your pop-up position if you want to, but what we wanna focus on is frequency and close settings. So in this anchor field, I'll type in an anchor link without the hashtag. I'll just call it ebook. And now this means if we click on an anchor with this link, then our pop-up will show up. So we are gonna demonstrate this by adding a button. I'll just go ahead and add a new block. I'll press enter, then I'll type in slash button. All right, now let's call it download PDF. I'll just fix this. And once we're done, we'll add the anchor link. And this time we are gonna add the hashtag in the front. So hashtag ebook. All right, so once that's done, we'll press enter or click there to set the link. All right, so that should be fine. And for aesthetic purposes, I'll just add a spacer block between the button and the next paragraph. And now we can either click on update or preview in a new tab. All right, so now we can go ahead and see if it works. We'll scroll down and click on the button. And here's our pop-up. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.